Hey, welcome back, everybody. Let's say hello to John Baptiste. Hello, John. What's happening? You got to get it in, you know. You got to God, I like that shirt a lot. I like those. I like oh. that sort of Harlequin fusils you got going on there. It's a good vibe. It feels like fall. It's great. You want to hear about good vibe? I spent the morning uh, talking to President Barack Obama. Wow. I was down in the... D.C. talking to him. Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. a good vibe. He looks good. He seems happy, relaxed. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's got a lot on his plate. Lot, this, the book, you know, it's... It's done, though. The book's right, done. Right, Obamacare didn't get tossed out by the Supreme Court. His guy's going to be the next president. Like, he's... <laughs> he's, he's got a yeah. spring in his step. I'll tell you that. Wow. Yeah. How, how was the conversation? Far-ranging. Mm. Light, deep. It had it all. I don't know how <laughs> we're gonna fit range. how we're gonna fit it into a show. Maybe we do two oh. shows. Maybe do another. Maybe we do an extra show with it. That's what I would say. Yes, yeah. one of the greatest living humans. You gotta you gotta showcase it all. We need to hear it. John, we also played uh, waste pace, uh, waste basketball. You know, your ball, paper, oh. and shoot. Yeah, he got a J. He got he got he, the left hand J. He does. <laughs> you're gonna want you're gonna want to stick around for that game. It oh, was, well, it was, who won? I can't give that away, John. <laughs> Let's just say we did wager. We did oh wager. Yeah, yeah. I remember when you played that with uh, with Steph, and, and you got a J. I know you got something on you <laughs> with the socks in the bucket. I when, the like, camera, oh when the camera turns on and the adrenaline flows, all things are possible, John. You know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll put you on the free throw line for the tech. <laughs> <laughs> You got anything? You got anything coming up into the holidays? Anything for Thanksgiving? Anything that's got you in that autumnal mood that matches your shirt? Oh yeah, yeah. You know the. Uh... Now I want to go for a walk in Central Park. John Baptiste, everybody. Thank yes, you, John. Indeed. Thank you. You know, folks, I, I spent a lot of time training on the mighty steed of news, donning the day's most topical armor and sharpening the lance of satire for the medieval royal jousting tournament that is my monologue. But once in a while, I like to down a 40 of malt liquor, run naked in the pale moonlight to the farm two towns over, steal a baby pony to stage the full frontal one-man amateur production of Equus of News that is my segment. <laughs> Quarantine wild. Okay, I don't always read these ahead of time. Is this in this scenario? Am I having sex with a pony? But it says baby pony. It's very upsetting. It's very upsetting. I do not approve that intro, but I did enjoy it. Quarantine wild. Let's get straight to the question everyone is asking today: Has Sex Pistol star John Lydon? Been bitten by a flea on his penis after befriending squirrels? Good news. Sex Pistol star John Lydon was bitten by a flea on his penis after befriending squirrels. It seems the flea never minded the bollocks. Went straight for the Sex Pistol. God save the peen. Lydon is recovering well, and authorities have released this photo of the suspected penis-biting flea. Quarantine while. Just in time for Thanksgiving. Purdue has released a limited time only item called Thanks Nuggets. It's perfect for anyone spending the Thanksgiving alone wondering, how can I make this sadder? Also, pro tip, don't give your product a name that automatically sounds like sarcasm. Thanks Nuggets. There are two flavors of Thanks Nuggets. <laughs> One includes dark turkey meat blended with a cranberry sauce and stuffing flavor. And one features white turkey meat inspired by the flavor of sweet potato. Really? Your food is inspired by actual food? Okay, Picasso. And over here you see that my nuggets are loosely inspired by the concept of poultry. They include an homage to nutrition and, of course, a nod to protein. But the medium is primarily salt mixed with oil and breadcrumbs. Quarantine well. Florida officials have proposed culling their invasive python population by eating them. The only thing that surprises me about this story is that Floridians 
weren't already eating pythons. Until now, Florida's Fish and Wildlife Commission has disapproved, nay, discouraged the eating of invasive pythons because a decade-old study found Everglades National Park pythons carried alarming amounts of mercury, a neurotoxin that can impair brain functioning. Again! Are we sure Floridians haven't already been eating these snakes? We're talking about a state that keeps electing a man who is clearly part python. He will unhinge his jaw. Cortine Well. In movie news, it has been revealed that Mahershala Ali refused to do a sex scene in Benjamin Button. But the weird part is he filmed the movie, then refused to do the sex scene, then auditioned, then was a baby. Never seen it. Quarantine while bear attacks have reached a five year high in Japan. But one area has a novel solution. The Japanese island of Hokkaido has called in a monster wolf to scare off wild bear. Here it is in action. It now, that's a happy story. This monster wolf has been looking for work ever since he got kicked out of the Chuck E. Cheese band for murdering his meth dealer. Quarantine while. In what could go wrong news, scientists made monkey brains double in size by splicing them with human genes. Come on, scientists! We've made movie after movie about how this ends badly. Jurassic Park, The Fly, nine Planet of the Apes movies. Have you not seen X Monkey Na? You should, it's good. Amazing what they did in that budget. After experimenting with the, that is, I'm getting weird mixture of feelings looking at that image of that sexy monkey. I'm not sure how I feel. After all, we heard about what I did with that pony at the beginning of this. This is, I don't know like how this whole act is painting me. After experimenting with the monkey's genes, they found that the primate's brains soon became more human-like. So monkeys can now feel what it's like to be human. In fact, one monkey became so human-like that she bought a Peloton to help get her through her divorce. We'll be right back with Glenn Close.